couple scientists were giving Super Mario AI as well. Yeah. And they're just yeah. like, after it crushed uh, one of the Goombas, it's like, oh, so w- w- what'd you do? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what happened there? He's like, oh, if a, if a stomp on a Goomba is dead. And they're like, yeah, that's yeah. right. How does that make you feel? And they fucking rad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. he's like, pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I want to do more of it. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. They're just like, they've turned Mario into a sociopath. <laughs> well, you can't, it's really hard to like code a person's, you know, personality or just their thought process. Proper because it's just, and stuff, yeah. yeah, because it's like a billion things like firing in our brains. Yeah, all of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lots of balances and stuff that have to be struck to keep you from turning into that. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I mean, unless you put somebody's brain in there and then have some weird future tech and actually... That's true. Well, you have to I be really like a... I that chance, though. Yeah. Honestly, I gotta say, if, if they do... Like, I think I've said it before, is like, if they do come up with, like, cyborg bodies for yeah. us to get implanted into, I'll be, like, first in line. Yeah, that was kind of like my... Like, you know, when, when you're in elementary school, and they're like, oh, what do you want to be? And then you go, like, oh, like a robot. <laughs> like, no, that's dumb. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. It's okay. totally not. Like, look where we're at. I Super want to have Mario's my Gundam, okay? Conscious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, they've, they've made the, the Karatas. Yeah. yeah. I guess it kind of works with talking about robots and stuff. Yeah. The first, uh, almost kind of like a mobile suit type thing. It doesn't have, mm. like, yeah. free walking legs. Yeah. Right. But it's, it's like a... Tank car with arms. Uh, the yeah. idea of a bipedal like weapon is just kind of stupid, <laughs> because of like the stability wise, right? Like, yeah, stability. Mm-hmm. Like the stability is not really mm-hmm. working for that. It, yeah, tank treads are just big puffy tires are kind of like the. <laughs> yeah, but you still have the way to go. Like yeah. as much as it's really cool to go, oh we have robots now, it's like well it's only gonna take a. Few yeah, they, they, they can't people. even play fucking soccer yet. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. They fall down more than regular soccer players, and that's a really hard feature to <laughs> Exactly. They're basically like robots. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, but like a scary thing about that kind of stuff is to like, okay, cool, we've got robots, but how long is it until the military actually takes, you know, takes it in and do their weird shit on it, and then suddenly mm-hmm. we have fucking giant robots killing each other and then... I don't know, they yeah. seem more more down with the fact that they're just pack mules right now. Rather That's than, true, like, yeah. properly weaponizing them. Yeah. You know, yeah. at the one point you're gonna have, like... It's at some point, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, I don't, I don't You should know. be using that sort of stuff for, like, you know, space exploration. Exactly. Yeah. Sending them building planets, stuff. So, so we can start colonizing other planets and kicking the ass of whatever is on there. <laughs> yeah, because this one's getting fucked. <laughs> yeah. USA! USA! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Earth, motherfucker! Yeah. <laughs> uh, Independence Day 2. That's, That's yeah. gonna be a movie, and it yeah. actually, it yeah, no, yeah. Uh, Independence Day is uh, post-apocalyptic. Mm, yeah, really. There's the Pre- aliens Pre- taking over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're they're doing a second one, and it actually sounds plausible. It does, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and it's not gonna involve Randy Quaid for some reason. I wonder why. <laughs> he needs to really stop, like. Hanging out in my backyard. It's freaking out the upstairs kids. <laughs> yeah. He lives really close. It's creepy. Yeah. And he's yeah. like and he's like full on like Illuminati truther kind of guy now, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's yeah. Pretty out there. He really is, yeah. He's like, don't drink the government milk kind of thing. But that's where I get my milk from. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's so cheap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so the the thing is with that, like, the, the movie is actually going to be taking place, like, 20 years after oh. the events of 1996. We eliminated them. So, yeah, sort of. I mean, yeah, they were, like, basically the entire movie is talking about preparing like, for the, when the aliens do come back. Mm, so apparently yeah. there's a bunch of, like, crazy tech that's been, like, reverse engineered from the alien stuff. Oh, and, cool. Uh, the the main thing that I'm like, okay, you know what, this movie might, like, Will Smith's not in it, you know, oh. it's probably not going to be that great if Will Smith isn't in there, but then yeah. again, he's forcing his kids to be in everything, so that's yeah. okay, too. But Jeff Goldblum is signed on. Oh, really? So I'm like, really? okay, you know what? Really? <laughs> okay. This, this, this is my one, like, okay, I'm in, I'm in yeah. now, I'm, I'm deep. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that does sound like... It's like the whole new Terminator thing. It's like, I don't care. Oh, Arnie's back. Yeah, Arnie's back. And Daenerys? Ooh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Marathon the shit out of Game of Thrones. I'm down now. I like this now. Lots of kind of shit could end the world now. Yep. Yeah. I don't remember if I was talking about it or not, but the whole Fukushima plant. Yeah. Yeah, apparently a lot of studies have been done that since that whole thing happened, 
uh, one of the barriers on it broke and radioactive materials have been leaking out into the ocean, the Pacific Ocean specifically, um, and all kinds of stuff is dying horrible deaths and it's poisoned with uh, radiation. Seaweed is now pretty much 100% full of uh, cesium and some other radioactive materials and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, the Pacific Ocean is pretty well fucked now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apparently it's supposed to, s they're estimating that it'll stop leaking by this year. Um, but cleaning that shit up. But yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, it's a matter of trying to reverse all the damage that's been yeah. done. And if it hasn't already gone past the point of no return, you know. Exactly. So yeah, lots of different fish that are being caught and sold in North America are not really that great. Super <laughs> good for you. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Especially Japanese fish now. They're yeah. Fucked. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. They're going to be like blinky from The Simpsons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Sea lions and polar bears and stuff. They're getting like these weird skin conditions and like yeah. open sores on their bodies and a bunch of uh, whales recently, like a bunch of killer whales have been dying in the water. A bunch of like pod matriarchs are all dying off and so their pods are dying too. And all kinds of crazy shit happening because of that damn radiation leak. Shit. Godzilla's not far off, I'm guessing. Yeah. yeah. Was well, imagine they actually went down to the um, lower midnight. Yeah. yeah, we yeah, made a Cthulhu. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> That's the twist to it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah, we're sitting there thinking that Cthulhu was going to come from space. No, we no. made him. Yeah, we created the Elder Things. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't that be just so That'd be cool, though. crappy and mixed with fucking Prometheus? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> yeah. Turns out it was people all along. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out... Fuck. Nobody cared. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>